What's going on, everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today, they did just reveal Evan Ingram and one more uh, LTD. Uh, we obviously get LTDs every Thursday. They reveal them every Wednesday night. So let's go ahead and check out Evan Ingram. 92 speed, 70 strength, 92 catching, 88 catching traffic with 94 spectacular catch. 90 short route running, 86 medium route running, and 77 run block. Okay, so this guy, really, really good, but don't hit your medium route running, which is what uh, I know a lot of people like to do is put their uh, tight ends on crossers, corners, uh, stuff like that, a lot of medium routes, uh, and him not hitting 90 is going to be kind of tough because there's other guys in the game that hit 90. Um, who are around the same speed. So I think Vernon Davis is still uh, the best tight end in the game. But again, Evan Ingram, a really, really good looking tight end. He is a 95 overall highest tight end in the game now, uh, but he is an LTD, which that, you know, LTDs always come at a cost. So he's going to be pretty expensive. So in my opinion, I think Vernon Davis is still the guy. If you want, uh, you know, a tight end, he's going to be about the same speed, I think, and he's going to hit 90 short and 90 medium. So uh, in my opinion, I still think Vernon Davis is the best tight end, but still, for you know, you know, New York Giants theme teamers out there, this is not a bad card at all whatsoever. So, uh, like I said, he's gonna be a little expensive, but at the end of the day, he's still a good card. Uh, next up, we do have to kind of make our guess here, and I am almost—I I really don't want to say this, but it looks like Matthew Judon. Um, whenever I flip on, uh, you know, the Patriots game. Uh, you you see this guy almost every game he makes a play. Uh, he's been playing great for the Patriots, uh, and he always wears those red sleeves. Um, and it looks like a single digit, which we know that Matthew Judon does wear a single digit this year too. So it all adds up to be Matthew Judon, uh, which is this card could be really good. We've seen a lot of great speed edge rushers uh, and, and fast. Uh, edge rushers, um, outside linebacker, uh, defensive end, whatever it is. There, you know, there's a lot of good ones in the game. He's going to be another one. So, in my opinion, he's going to be a great card. Uh, but who knows? It could be. You know, it, it almost has to be Judon because he's the only guy I I know that wears those type of sleeves. Um, it looks like Patriots colors. It looks like red and navy. Um, looks like a white number there on uh, the uniform too. So, I mean. And it looks like a, a silver helmet. Um, so in my opinion, it, 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 I'm, I'm just saying, it, it, obviously it, it might not be, but I think I think it's going to be Matthew Judon. It could be, you know, a Bengal, but I don't know any Bengals players, you know. So I, I'm going to go with Matthew Judon here. He's going to be a great card. Um, I don't know where they have him this year, what position they have him at, but I really think this is Matthew Judon. Uh, so yeah, you're getting Matthew Judon, not 100% confirmed, and you're also getting Evan Ingram. We're also getting Reduxes tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, so Reduxes are coming tomorrow. Obviously, we saw the increase to overall last week. Uh, on Saturday, we saw the upgraded Legends. They went up in overall, so we'll see Reduxes uh, the following week. Hopefully, they keep that consistent, because uh, I do want to see um, you know, that consistent, so we kind of know when we're getting Reduxes. So yeah, like I said, when, whenever we see the religions go up plus one, maybe the following Thursday we'll see Reduxes. I'd like to, them to keep that consistent so we kind of know uh, when Reduxes are coming. Uh, so that's going to be 93 overall Reduxes because we did get the Julio Harold Landry. Those were 92. The last Redux drop, we're going to get 93. So any 93 LTDs, they should be uh, getting a Redux tomorrow. Uh, and they also are going to be doing a full reveal uh, of all the players coming in Harvest 2 tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. The Part 2 promo of the Harvest um, promo as a whole is coming tomorrow. So, yeah, hopefully we see some Titans. I love, 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 love to see some Tennessee Titan players. We haven't seen a lot as of recent. We did see uh, Jackrabbit today, uh, which I might have a gameplay out tomorrow. I don't know just yet, uh, but be on the lookout for that. So, yeah, Jackrabbit's really been the only guy in, uh, for a while. Uh, that's been added to the team unless you want to consider the Garrett Blunt um, But other than that we really haven't been getting you know getting any love the past few weeks Still one of the top theme teams in the game, but you know hasn't received much love as of recent So I'd love to see a couple upgrades there in the harvest promo part two tomorrow 
uh, they reveal the cars tomorrow. The promo will be out on Friday. So, yeah. Um, any guys in particular that come to my mind? Um, not really. Uh, but who knows? We might see some surprises. Um, you know, I, I don't know how... Um, I don't know. There, there really isn't any guys that come to my mind. Uh, I'd love to see like a Jonu Smith, mid-80, mid to high 80. I know he hasn't really been, uh, you know, he's been a tight end too behind Hunter Henry. Uh, but I'd love to see him get like a mid-80, high 80, so we can see him get a power up and get Titans chemistry. He'd be fast too, so that'd be pretty cool. Um, I don't know how Dory Jackson's playing, but it'd be pretty cool to get another corner, maybe. Um, uh, Jadavion Clowney's been pretty decent this year. Um... Maybe he gets a card. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they wait and hold off for him for Blitz. Uh, that would make a little bit more sense there, if I'm being honest. Um, Bud Dupree still only has an 88. He hadn't really been playing great. He's gotten some pressures, but not many sacks. Uh, and obviously, he didn't play this, or he did play. He got it, went out early in the first quarter. Um, but other than that, obviously, still, I still think Jeffrey Simmons deserves a much higher card than just an 86. Uh, he's top five in sacks this year, I believe, um, or he's top five in pressures. I don't think he's top five in sacks, but he does have a, a good amount of sacks uh, this year. So maybe we just, maybe, 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 just maybe we see him. I don't know what they'll do since he just recently got that team of the week. But hey, it's only an 86, so might as well just give him an, at least a 90, something like that, please. Um, that would be great. And then you know, other than that. Um, really anyone can get the LTD because it's super high overall. So really anyone on the team. Um, there's not really many holes on the Titans team team. Maybe you could hope for, eh, I don't know. Wide receiver were good. Offensive line were good. Tight end were good. Fullback were good. So really all, the entire offense is fine. Defensively, maybe a middle linebacker, um, or Sean Evans. There you go. Rashawn Evans only has a core elite in the game. He's been playing decent this year. Um, anything else? Strong safety or good. Free safety or good. Outside linebackers. Um, I think we're fine there. Like I said, only Bud, Dupree, uh, Bobby Spillane, Robert Spillane, and Rashawn Evans maybe the only two that come to my mind. Cornerback. We have some really good cornerbacks now with the addition of Jack Rabbit Jenkins. Uh, and then you look at the defense, D-tackle, we're good. Maybe we could ask for another D-tackle, uh, and Big Jeff would be nice. Uh, we could slide him a D-tackle, too, right behind Al Woods. Maybe we get an Albert Hainsworth soon. Um, defensive end-wise, we're good there, too. Curse, uh, and on the other side, we got Clowney. So, you know, a couple guys that could potentially get upgrades, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. So, that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy until next time, I'll see y'all.